In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize limited by budget campaigns for Google Ads. Campaigns frequently get put into the state and there's more to it than simply just increasing your budget. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a pretty simple framework that's going to show you how to increase your reach, increase efficiency, and how to scale the smart way. The reason why this matters is because Google's default tool just wants you to spend more, and that's how they make their money. If you take a look at their revenue over the years, revenue has just scaled over time on Google Ads. In fact, taking a look at Google's advertising revenue from 2001 to 2021, you can see that they've gotten a 210 times return on their ad spend by yielding 210 billion, yes, with a B, billion dollars in 2021. And that has increased by almost $60 billion year over year. So Google is in fact making it much more easy for you, the advertiser, to spend money on their platform every year. And Google makes it really easy for you to spend more if you are not careful with those settings. Things like broad match modified keywords going away or the introduction of performance max or recommendations in OptiScore make it really easy for you to scale your campaigns. However, with great power comes great responsibility and if you are not using those tools effectively you are going to waste spend so i'm hoping that this video will be really useful for you if you're not sure what to do when that limited by budget signal shows up so how does this work? Let's jump right in. The first thing to understand is what actually is limited by budget. And limited by budget simply is when your average daily budget is lower than your recommended budget amount. And you're going to see that in platform with a little red sign across your screen that says limited by budget. And when that shows up, Google wants you to spend more. Let's jump into the platform and I'll show you what I mean. If we jump into the interface, you're going to notice that the limited by budget is the status signal on one of your campaigns. And if you click on that, Google is going to give you a budget estimator tool to simply say, right now you are spending $90 per day for your campaign. And guess what? You should increase that to $200 per day. And by doing that, you're going to see increases across the board. I'm going to see six more conversions, 120 more clicks. Great, great, great. But what that doesn't take into account is how much value is this to my business? And for most use cases, simply don't doubling my budget is not the solution. Instead, I would recommend that you look at three key areas, keyword coverage, bid strategy, and location targeting. By you looking at those three options, it will allow you to optimize your campaign to make it work harder for you simply than increasing your budget and increasing Google's bottom line in advertising dollars. So let's see what that looks like. Keyword coverage is really important. If you look at the amount of keywords that you have in your campaign, you typically are going to have three different types. You're going to have your exact match, your phrase match, and your broad match. If you are on a smart bidding strategy, you're likely going to want to add more broad match keywords so the algorithm can go out and learn with greater reach. So I'm going to jump into one campaign here and you can see that a lot of the match types within the account today are broad match. And the reason why this is important is because a broad match keyword is going to reach more people than an exact or a phrase match keyword. Now, broad match is not going to be your friend and will likely not work well if you are on a non-smart bidding strategy. So if you are on maximized clicks or manual bidding, I would highly recommend to stay away from broad match keywords because you are not optimizing for conversions or efficiency you are going to be optimizing around a different metric and you're likely going to see more wasted spend which really goes into my next point about smart bidding when smart bidding was introduced a couple of years ago I was not a fan of it because it wasn't I either was not using it the best way or the algorithm wasn't as efficient as it is today but now that I'm pairing the proper conversion signals with smart bidding what is happening is that my campaigns are working that more efficiently for me because I'm either bidding for a target CPA or I'm bidding for a target ROAS and by taking that into account and by adjusting my bidding effectively those campaigns are able to learn and I'm pairing that with a broad match keyword. Instead of bidding for clicks or for impression share, I am bidding for an ultimate conversion. So someone filling out a form on my website or someone purchasing a product from me. I am able to tell Google, here are what these conversions look like. Here's what those people look like. Now go out and find similar people. If I am telling Google to look at a very small section of exact or phrase match keywords, the inventory is not going to be as large as the broad match segment. In fact, by adding broad match keywords, you are going to get significantly more reach, which is giving the algorithm more time to learn. And by having more broad match keywords and by pairing that with smart bidding, you are giving it that many more signals to optimize around. If this is a little complex for you, I'll have a link in the upper right hand corner where you can learn more about smart bidding, how I approach it for my campaigns and why it really is the X factor for managing your Google ads campaigns. 
And the final thing I would recommend you look at is your location targeting. If you want to make your budget work more efficiently for you, you can really either expand your location targeting to get more users within that reach, or you can shrink it to really hone in on your target audience. In order to get there, you just click on these settings within Google Ads, and you'll see the location section here. I can click on that. Now for this specific campaign, I am targeting the United States. However, I can get a lot more siloed and I can hit a very specific location. So I can do the Chicago land DMA. I can do the Chicago land DMA if I would like to target that, or I could target a specific mile radius around Chicago as well if I wanted to do that. So part of the thinking is you can get very specific with your location targeting and you can shrink or expand that if you want to play around with your budget. And now let's say your campaigns are humming and hawing and they're doing great and exactly what you would like them to do. The final piece that you can do is simply increase that budget. So if you have the campaigns hitting exactly what you want from a return on ad spend standpoint or a cost per acquisition standpoint, simply increase the budget based on what Google is saying. If you feel like your location targeting, your reach and your keyword targeting and bid strategy are up to par, go ahead and switch that because by you adding more fuel to the fire, you are going to see more results. One last thing to consider that I wanted to include at the end of this video is that if your budget recommendation is three times what you are currently spending, likely the budget is even higher and you have more untapped inventory than Google is even projecting. I've typically seen Google recommend a three times higher daily budget. And if that is the case, there's likely even more budget that you can cap and you can hit for. And that's it. That's what you do when your campaigns are limited by budget. I followed this framework religiously for the past two or three years and have seen great results. And one of the things that you should not do is just click increase budget if you see that sign come up. Think a little strategically. Take a look at that keyword coverage, bid strategy, and location targeting. And by you looking at those three simple things, it should allow your campaigns to focus a lot better and work harder for you. What are some other things that you have done if your campaigns are limited by budget? I would love to know down below in the comments. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is if you love digital marketing, if you love PPC, definitely check out my Discord channel. There will be a link in the upper right-hand corner and a link down below in the description. We talk about digital marketing frequently, and it is a community that I am working on growing. So I'd appreciate it if you checked it out. Also, I tried a slightly new editing style in this video. If you enjoyed that type of editing style, please let me know below in the comments, trying something out differently and seeing how the audience likes it. So I'd appreciate that feedback down below. And finally, if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. It would help out my channel a lot and help me know that this is the type of content that you like seeing. Until next time, appreciate you all. See ya. Bye.